Everyone knows refined sugar isn't good for you, but I'm going to give you five reasons why you should definitely eliminate it from your diet. First of all, sugar causes unhealthy weight gain. Now, this is in no way a criticism of how one looks. Of course, all body types are beautiful, but do you like the feeling of being bloated and uncomfortable? Because what happens is sugar causes poor gut health because it feeds the bad bacteria, leading to massive inflammation. And the infl inflammation in your gut causes your body to react in defense by placing a layer of fat over the organs. So that fat is called deep visceral fat, deep belly fat, and it's associated with dangerous chronic diseases like type 2 di diabetes and heart disease. What's more, fructose or excessive fructose, the sugar that's found in most sugary drinks and in a lot of sweets, you know, high fructose corn syrup, it actually increases your hunger and desire for food, and it can cause leptin resistance if you eat too much. Leptin's the hormone that comes in to tell you that you're full. So when you don't have leptin, you're insatiably hungry and you never wanna stop eating. Sugar may also increase your risk of heart disease strokes, and cancer. So high sugar diets not only lead to excess inflammation and insulin resistance, which is dangerous for cancer, but also to high triglycerides, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure levels, all of which are major factors for heart disease. Sugary diets also contribute to atherosclerosis, I can never say that, which is when your arteries get clogged by dangerous fatty deposits that cause strokes. And high sugar intake is linked to specific types of cancer. For example, a study of over 20,000 men over nine years found that excessive sugary drinks led to increased prostate cancer and esophageal cancer was linked to increased intake of brown and white sugars, sweetened desserts, and sugary beverages. Number three, sugar is also associated with acne. This is because when you eat a lot of sweets, your blood sugar spikes, and this triggers an insulin response. Excess insulin is it leads to increased androgen production, secretion, oil production, and inflammation, all of which contribute to acne or cause acne. A study of almost 25,000 participants found that consumption of fatty and sugary products sugary beverages, and milk was all associated with current acne in adults. Sugar can also cause anxiety and depression. This is because sugar causes chronic inflammation, insulin resistance, and a disrupted dopaminergic reward signaling system. This system is crucial to the maintenance of physiological processes such as motor control, motivation, reward, cognitive function, maternal and reproductive behaviors, yep, your sex drive. And when those systems malfunction, people naturally get anxious and depressed. A study following 8,000 men showed that those who consume more than 67 grams of sugar per day were 23% more likely to develop depression. And another of almost 70,000 women demonstrated that those who ate more sugar had a significantly greater risk of depression compared to those with lower intakes. Number five, last but not least, sugar causes you to rapidly age. So excess sugar causes advanced glycation end products. Ironically, acronym is AGES. And what these do is they, well, they do a lot of terrible, terrible things in your body, but they destroy the collagen and the elastin, which are proteins that help keep the elasticity in your skin. And they're what keep your youthful appearance appearance. So sugar destroys that. But what we really have to worry about is overall cell degradation, not just skin cells, but all cells. And this happens because of telomere destruction. So telomeres are the structures found on the ends of chromosomes. Chromosomes are molecules that hold all of your genetic information. So the telomeres act as like a protective cap that stop the you know, chromosomes from degenerating or from fusing together. And they will do that as you age, degenerate and fuse together, but you, it gets sped up so rapidly by sugar consumption. So a study of 61 preschool students who ate a lot of sugar 
showed that the more sugar they ate, the more telomere destruction occurred, which signified cellular, cellular aging. So that was in preschool kids. So sugar is bad. <laughs>